Here is what to do when personal hotspot is not working on your iPhone. The first thing to do is ask yourself, is personal hotspot missing or is it not working? We're gonna start with the steps for if it's missing, then move to not working. If it's not missing in your iPhone, use the timestamps in the description to skip ahead. So first thing we need to talk about is configuration profiles. Configuration profiles. This is not a usual reason for this problem, but you gotta check it out because hotspot can be disabled by a profile. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the settings app and then General. Yep, scroll down, tap general, then scroll all the way down to VPN and device management, tap on that. Here you'll see a list of your configuration profiles. I've got iOS 15 because I am a beta tester, but maybe you got your phone through work or through school. Right. You might see those profiles. Yeah, here. you'd be able to then remove this profile. If you don't see this menu item, it's because you don't have any profiles installed, but I think that everybody's seeing it now. I'm not sure. That being said, don't just go in willy nilly and erase your work or school configuration profile, and then if you get fired or expelled and you blame us, it, we're not telling you to delete those. Talk right. to your boss first. Yeah, more likely, it would also just break a lot of other stuff yeah. on your phone. But the most common reason why personal hotspot doesn't show up or is missing on an iPhone is because it's not included with your cell phone plans. So you should contact your wireless carrier, see if your plan includes it, and if they may have turned it off by accident. That's right. Remember, kids, it's your carrier that decides whether this appears on your iPhone or not. Yep, so that's what to do if it's missing. If it's not working, the first thing to do is go to the main page of the settings app, tap on personal hotspot and allow others to join. Make sure that switch is turned on. People say, you know, I can't connect my laptop, for instance, to my iPhone's personal hotspot, but if allow others to join is not turned on, they're just not gonna see the hotspot. Next up, go back to the main page of the settings app, tap on cellular, try toggling cellular data off and back on. It could be a data issue, mobile hotspot, uses your cellular data to provide internet access to other devices. Check, tap, tap, check. See if it works now. If not, check for a carrier settings update. Apple and your carrier frequently release these updates to improve your phone's connection to your carrier's wireless network. Now, usually you'll see a pop-up on your phone when a carrier settings update is available. However, you can also manually check going back to the main page of the settings app and tapping on general, then tap about, wait here for about 10 to 15 seconds. Yeah, if nothing shows up on your phone, what you should do is click the subscribe button underneath this video because Whoa. there's no button to click here. Yes. So yeah, you, while, you know, while you're waiting that 10 to 15 seconds, it's hit a great, subscribe. It's great now. Nice and easy. Yeah. YouTube algorithm likes it. Yes. And we like you. Next up, try restarting your iPhone. There might be another minor software issue that's preventing your iPhone's personal hotspot from working. A hundred percent. Something's wrong under the hood and you can't open the hood of an iPhone. So turn it off and back on again. After your iPhone turns back on, check for a software update. Some iOS updates include modem updates to improve your iPhone's connection to wireless networks. Fun fact, my first AOL screen name, Modem Kid. Modem Kid. Eight years old. Let's tap back to general. Then one below about is software update. Tap on that. If an update's available, tap download and install. And leave a comment below with your first AOL screen name. Yeah because that would be interesting. That would be interesting. If personal hotspot is still not working, it's time to reset the network settings on your iPhone. Reset network settings clears out all of the Bluetooth devices and the Wi-Fi networks and the VPN settings on your iPhone, but it's a really good way of unplugging that whole network piece and plugging it back in again. Make sure you know your Wi-Fi password before you do this. Yes. Let's tap back to general and then scroll all the way down to transfer or reset iPhone, then tap reset then tap reset network settings, enter your passcode, tap reset network settings again, your iPhone will turn off, do the reset, turn back on, you gotta set those Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth devices again, but it can fix a deeper cellular data issue. That's for sure, and it's easier than doing our next step. Yep, backing up and doing a DFU restore. Backing it up is always a good idea to do. Use iCloud if you can. If you wanna use a computer, David Lynch is now going yep. to tell you what to use. David. Yep. So you have a Mac running Mac OS 10.15 or newer, you use Finder. If you have a PC or a Mac running 10.14 or older, you'll use iTunes to back up your iPhone. That would have taken me five minutes to say. Yeah, same thing for DFU Restore too. If you do a DFU Restore and personal hotspot is still not working, 
Run for the high heels. Run I don't know. Me. So Switch to Android. Reach out to Apple or your carrier. What was gonna, what's going to happen here is that Apple's going to say it's your carrier's fault, and your carrier's probably going to say it's Apple's fault. It's your carrier's fault. I would say most of the time it's, it's probably your carrier's, your carrier's fault. fault. Go to your carrier and demand a new SIM card. It's very unlikely that a hardware issue with your iPhone would cause this problem unless you dropped your iPhone right on the, uh, the cellular antenna. Don't listen to them. The first thing they'll say is... Yeah. Did you go to the Apple store? And then they'll, they won't tell you to make an appointment, so you'll show up at the Apple store and be mad because you've already spent two hours at the carrier and you just drove three hours to the Apple store and there's this really nice blonde guy mm. that you walk in and meet and you start yelling at him and he you know, breaks down in tears. Yeah, pro tip for you. The carriers are super responsive on Twitter on their customer support accounts. DM their customer support accounts. You're going to get help so much faster that way than by getting on the phone and trying to pass through the whole period. It's Yeah, the last thing yeah. they want is for you to be on Twitter and start saying bad things about them. That's what to do if personal hotspot is not working on your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, please join this channel. Joining is a great way to help us out to grow. These people on the screen have been a tremendous help as we're approaching a million subscribers, and we are very grateful to them. And we would really like you too if you did. If that's too big of an ask, please like this video, help it reach more people, get our video ranking number one for iPhone personal hotspot not working. I think we can do that's it. That's right, algorithm. Let's let's do it together. Thanks for watching. Thanks.